First Choice Primary Care is moving locations after 12 years. The current facility is on Walnut Street, but it's moving into the heart of downtown Macon. Yeah, not too far away. The CEO says the move is bringing more space for additional physicians and services. 41 NBC's Tanya Merzitsky has more. Here at the corner of Poplar Street and MLK Junior Boulevard is the old broker's building and former hotel from the 1870s. It's been empty for the last couple years, but soon it'll be occupied again. As we try and recruit physicians, we love the idea of being able to you can live and work downtown. The original first choice primary care is currently on Walnut and New Streets. We're just out of space. Um, we've squeezed in as many um, providers and a pharmacy and just don't have enough room. Nurses say they're outgrowing the building. Right now we're a little on top of each other, so having a little more workspace is going to be nice. We have increased patient wait times, and we're hoping that having more space to allow us to bring on more providers will decrease patient wait time. But First Choice Primary Care is looking forward to calling Poplar Street their new home. CEO Katherine McLeod says the move will allow them to hire additional physicians and medical providers, expand mental health services, add vision and dental services, along with a public pharmacy and grocery store. Because food really can be medicine. So in, in my mind, I have this image of the pharmacy and the grocery where food is really medicine. Reporting in Macon, Tanya Motorzitsky, 41, NBC News. McLeod says this project will cost around $800,000. That's right, and she says that they're looking for someone to partner with who can help with the grocery store expected to move in by the end of the year.